This is by far one of my favorite uh, sweep picking exercises. And I feel that a sweep picking is a misunderstood uh, child in the techniques family. Uh, because we, we have something called directional picking or economy picking. Then we have something called alternate picking. Then we have something called hammer-ons and pull-offs or legato to some. And then we have sweep picking. But sweep picking, what is that basically? It's going from one string to another with the same stroke, right? You are doing two strokes. If you go from the B to the E, if you use alternate picking, you go down up or up down because you alternate between down and up. If you do sweep picking, you have two down strokes or one down stroke that covers two strings, right? And the same thing goes for economy picking, which is also sweep picking. Why? Because it's all about the string shift, right? Sweep picking is only about how to go from one string to another. And it's opposite of alternate picking, which alternates the strokes. So economy picking is basically a blend of alternate picking on one string and then sweep picking when you go from string to string. Sweep picking is basically something we use when we don't do alternate picking at all <clears throat> and only go. But even there, I did a little bit of alternate picking because I had two notes on the first string, right? And then I had two notes on the last string and I did alternate picking there as well. And then I did sweep picking for all the string shifts. So you could say that sweep picking is of course shifting strings with two similar strokes. And alternate picking is shifting strings when we're talking string shifts with two opposite strokes. And sweep picking is just about, you can't sweep pick on one string, right? So you, there's nothing, nothing called economy picking really. It doesn't make sense. Uh, in my book, it's all one mix. It's just about your, your alternate picking or you're doing hammer-ons and pull-offs on one string, right? Alternate picking and hammer-ons and pull-offs work on one string. Sweep picking or directional picking doesn't because that refers to the string shift, right? Let's just get our terms straight here so we don't confuse people in the process, right? Which is really common in the world of guitar and music theory. It's full of just, ugh, just bad, sloppy language that doesn't really encapsulate what it is that we're talking about. So when we're talking about the string shift, we can either go, you know, opposite strokes, down up or up down, or we can da -da, da -da, do the same strokes. But when it then comes to these arpeggios, when we start having that far in between the notes, we suddenly start having series of notes that are where we only have one note on a string before we leave for the next string. And that's why sweep picking is so useful. But sweep picking isn't useful in and of itself, because what are you going to do when you play two, two notes on one string? You either use hammer-ons or pull-offs, and some picking, or alternate picking. Or not just downstrokes all the way. But that kind of gives you a sound deficiency. You can't have the... You know, and it gives you a speed deficiency. You can't really play very fast when you only use downstrokes or only use upstrokes. So alternate picking is the only true way, <laughs> right? Right, for everything on one string or hammer-ons and pull-offs. So what's my point with all this? Well, my point is that how do we attack the challenge of playing arpeggios? We become very good at sweep picking and alternate picking as well, but that works for single note runs as well, right? So we're already practicing that before we start practicing arpeggios or two note per string, right? <clears throat> but so let's look into how do you actually practice sweep picking? And some people say you just do one sweep, you know, make this hand sweep fit how what you do down here. But I'd like to really connect the two much deeper. And the first exercise I'm going to give you is the hardest. So don't expect yourself to do it fast. It just goes, you take two strings and then you play uh, up, down on the B string. Or well, let's start on the high E string, it's easier. We play down, up on the high E string. Just don't, no notes yet. When I play, practice picking techniques, I don't play notes. You know, until I, I'm using my skills. I, I want to practice where I can focus on the, on the picking itself. So what I do is I play down, up on the high E string and then up, down on the B string. And then I return. So I go down, up on the E, up, down on the B. That's two string shifts, right? It's in the upwards direction and the downwards. So sweep, sweep. And that's basically it. Sweep, 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 sweep. But with timing, which is the hard part, right? Because anyone can go, right? Or, but to go. 
if you can't do this very fast, that's the level of your sweet picking skills, right? Think about it. If, if that's what you can do in order to keep timing with a the metronome, then your skills doesn't really go any higher than that. This is then a trick that you do, right? Where you just kind of approximated the speed of every both hands and then, you know, but what are you going to do if you have to stop halfway? Right, and you have to mix in with different notes. You have to really develop a technique that you can use for something, so. Right, use the metronome and then just incessantly try that sweep pick. It will make all your sweep picking uh, attempts much easier. It's kind of the practicing the core of the challenge and targeting it directly and then becoming better at that and then everyth everything else. Right? Everything else will be much easier. So that you should return to that. You can expand that just a little bit and we can put some notes to it as well. The first one here, you can put some, you can put just put to, two pentatonic notes on each string on it. So in the case of uh, this, you could just do the eighth and the tenth fret. And suddenly you have a little pentatonic lick there. So instead of just going down up with muted strings, you can just add two notes on the B and two notes on the E. Depends on what you want to do. You can set the fifth and the ninth fret. You have a nice little major seventh arpeggio going on. There. Oh, pentatonic. Oh, nine and twelve. You know, a really cool exercise to get some spaces in between you. Know. Or just the seventh and the eighth on both three, on both strings. Right? Just try out whatever it is, but make sure you practice with muted strings as well. Then you can expand that to three strings, but that's where it stops for me, because everything else is what we usually do. Right? So I, when I play that, I do the exact same thing. So I just go down, 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 G, B, E string, right? And then up, up, up on the E, B, and G. So down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, down, down. Which gives you two strokes, a little bit of alternate picking when you turn around on the G and the high E string. And then I can do like a major seventh arpeggio. I can go ninth fret G, eighth fret B, seventh fret E. A little triad there. Right? The E minor triad, nine, eight, seven. And then on the other way around, the, the, the descending way, I can go notes from the seventh, uh, E minor seventh, the tenth on the high E string, the eighth on the B, same as before, and then the seventh on the G. And then I have my... My... And that sweet picking exercise, along with the other is just where you want to go when you when you want to practice sweep picking but then how do you integrate that technique with alternate picking legato and everything else that's a challenge too and once you have your skills down <clears throat> on a small level like that you can start building it into all your other techniques in our program bundle uh with the program the triad arpeggio we have the, a cool uh or the coolest sweep picking program i know of I wish I made. <laughs> but the reason why it's cool is because it's integrating the sweep picking techniques into everything else you do, which makes it then usable for improvisation and really playing this instrument instead of saying, okay, oh, here comes my sweep picking. You know, and that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. I enjoy these pieces. It sounds really grand and, and cool, but it's really cool if you can start integrating it into your other playing. So you can do single note lines and uh, go into an arpeggio and back again, right? And that program in the bundle is uh, focused on that solely. So, and building the technique. So remember these two exercises, start doing them now and return to them over and over and over again, right? Just hammer away at them. The two string version and the three string, string version. And I promise you, whatever you attempt to sweep your way through in the, in the uh, future will be much easier to the degree to which you practice these two core exercises. So have fun doing that. And I hope to see you in the, um, on the page below here. Also check out the, uh, the Fast Guitars brand here, really exciting. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it, do it now, do it.